Hey, my name is Jason Euros, and I'm with the Kids in Parks program. And we're here today to talk to you about disc golf and show you some of the basics of the game. Disc golf is essentially a hike in the woods with a frisbee in your hand, and you're playing a game, uh, trying to basically get the disc into the basket in as few number of throws as possible. Uh, it's fun, it's healthy, and it's free. Uh, and you're basically playing a game that is a lot like standard uh, golf, except for instead of using a club to hit a ball into a hole, you're using your frisbee or your disc to throw it into a basket. Every hole starts with a tee pad. I'm standing on the tee pad here at hole one, uh, and I'm gonna be throwing my disc, trying to get it into the basket at the end of the fairway. Uh, the baskets are between 200 and 400, 500 feet away, some courses, and there's a par. You want to try to get the disc into the basket in or under par. So most of the time it's a par three, and so you want to try to get your disc from point A to point B in three shots or less. In disc golf, there's different types of discs. Just like in ball golf, there's different types of clubs. you got a driver and a sand wedge and a putter. Well, in disc golf, you have a driver. Uh, it's a very narrow disc with a wide rim. They fly really fast through the air and they give you a lot of action. You can make them turn left, you can make them turn right, you can throw them real straight, you can put them on an S turn. Uh, then you got your mid-range disc, which is a little bit taller, a little bit shorter of a rim, uh, but these are for your mid-range, your approach shot, trying to get it close to the basket. Again, lots of different types of mid-ranges that you can make go left or right or short uh, and then you got your putters your putter is a domier disc more like a regular kind of catch frisbee uh, and these are designed to put them in the basket to get them really close and lay up and sometimes to, to throw off the tee pad they fly really well and they fly really straight most of the times so on, on a straight hole sometimes you want to use that putter all right now that we've covered the basics we want to make sure that you're safe on the golf course so that you can have some fun out there we want everyone to have fun but be safe while they're doing it uh, we're standing here on the third hole. We've got another group in front of us playing golf right now, and so we have to be safe. We don't want to be throwing our discs at them. So we're going to wait for them to finish out the hole. As soon as they're done, it's going to be our turn, and then we're going to go. Now, I always play with my friends, and so, you know, when I throw my shot, let's just say I threw it right there. You know, if I'm really excited and I want to go and get it, my friends got to throw their tee shot still too. So you don't want to be going out in front of the tee pad before everybody else has their opportunity to throw. That's going to keep you safe. You want to stand behind people when they're throwing. Uh, that way, you know, they throw it to the side or out here. It's not going to hit you. Uh, you really want to be careful. The discs are heavy. Some of them have sharp edges and you do not want to get hit by a disc and you don't want to hit anyone else with a disc. So be safe when you're on the course and have some fun. Uh, disc golf takes a lot of its mannerisms from, from the game golf, regular golf. Uh, and there's a lot to do with etiquette. And that means a lot of things. Uh, respecting the course and the property, not breaking branches or, or harming any uh, vegetation or distracting any wildlife while you're out on the course, to not distracting your friends who are, who are playing golf with you, uh, not trying to make noises while they're about to play or or be in front of them and creating motion that might distract them from executing their shot. And so when you're out there on the course, make sure you're sharing those uh, good habits and good etiquette uh, with the people that you play with. They'll appreciate it. All right, now that we've gone over some basics uh, and some safety, we're gonna play a real hole just so that you can see what this is like. So uh, we're on the tee pad and I'm gonna throw my tee shot. All right, so my disc has landed here in the, dry, uh, in the fairway. Uh, and the basket's just right over there. So I got my mid-range disc out. I'm gonna just throw a nice upshot, try to make sure I get a three and get a par. So you gotta stand behind your disc where your disc landed, you gotta stand behind it. And then when safety is always important, we gotta make sure these guys are out of the way quick. Okay, All right, so my upshot landed just a couple feet away from the basket. So we should be able to get this in a par. Uh, once again, I gotta get my foot behind my disc where my disc landed and throw it in. Good. All right, on the last hole, Tony, I got a three and you got a four. Four. All right, disc golf scorecards uh, give you information holes one through 18 and the distances of those holes and what the par is on that particular hole. Uh, it gives you plenty of space to write your scores and 
make notations if there was a penalty or, or anything that might have happened uh, for the score. Nature Trail Disc Golf Courses are essentially standard disc golf courses, except we have tee signs and scorecards that help you connect with and learn about nature as you're playing the course. To learn more about our Nature Trail Disc Golf Courses, visit the Kids in Parks website at kidsinparks.com. All right, now that we've gone through uh, the basics, the safety and the etiquette, get yourself a disc, get out there on the course, have some fun.